David Bronstad. And we have a special treat for you. We're gonna do drag makeup today, but it's not gonna be the full-on drag makeup like you know. We're gonna have a little inspiration, and our inspiration today is a butterfly. A butterfly inspired by, we have to say, it kimchi. It definitely kimchi I'm sorry. style. The uh, best drag queen on the planet at the moment with makeup. She's an artist. Yep. I'm an artist. Yep. Lana's an artist. Kinda. So we are going to <laughs> No, not kinda. This bitch is Modesty awesome. Dolly. Awesome sauce. <laughs> so now we're gonna have a good time yeah. and I'm gonna let her make me over into drag and we did this once before and um It was amazing, so we just can't wait to show you now. Yeah, so it's Jamie Lee Curtis in the house. <laughs> so. So let's begin the video. Begin the video. The first thing you want to do when it comes to drag makeup is cover up those brows. You can use any tool out there like glue sticks and stuff, but in this video I use the Prosade Adhesive Cream. I did about three layers of this on his eyebrows. Then I did a little bit of color correcting because it is much easier to cover up color than it is to cover up eyebrow hair. So uh, keep that in mind when it comes to concealing the eyebrows. I wanted the colors on his face to really pop. So what I decided to do was cover up that area with a white lipstick. That way when I added my colors, they'd be very, very bright and intense. This is the fun part. You can use anything that you want to color in this portion of the face. I decided to use eyeshadows, so I'm using colors like chrome yellow, uh, golden rod, I can't remember the color name, and uh, orange and passionate eyeshadows, all by MAC Cosmetics. But again, use any pigments or whatever you'd like for this part. With makeup, there is no specific step process. You don't have to do the eyes first. You don't have to do foundation first. You let your creative mind guide you and tell you what to do next. So you'll see that when I put on the eye colors, I went straight to eyebrows and then I went to foundation and then I went back to the colors again. So that helps me see where I'm going. It helps me uh, to prevent making any mistakes. And then I know exactly what needs to be bumped up and what needs to be taken down. So again, be creative, let your mind guide you, and then eventually it'll become your own personal print. Inglot's black gel liner was probably the key item in this entire look because not only did it help me create the liner, it also helped me create the actual design of the butterfly wing. Now you don't have to use this specific product, but I do recommend using a gel liner or a liquid liner if you have a steady hand. That way it'll help you create a flawless look. So for the little white dots on the outer edge of the butterfly wing, and please don't kill me for not knowing butterfly anatomy, I don't know what they're called, I used white lipstick. Take your time when it comes to something like this. You don't wanna give out shoddy work, so make sure that you have a very steady hand and a very calm mental state. That way everything can be as perfect as it can be. Now David requested for me to do a kimchi inspired look, so I left a good amount of space under the eye, completely white, to simulate a bigger eye area. A little behind the scenes side note, uh, we were definitely watching Zootopia while doing this. Hey, it always helps to have your model look in a specific direction the entire time you're doing their face. So this helped out a lot. So a lot of the laughter that you see is because of that movie. Lashes! Now apply the biggest pair you've ever seen. 
actually get two pairs and apply them to the actual lash line and then you want to apply another big pair underneath so that you have lashes on top and lashes on the bottom. And to finish off the look, I'm doing the final highlight and contour of the rest of the face so I can finish off this crazy drag look. And I'm also applying black lip liner with a black lipstick and a little bit of red lip gloss in the center of the lip. Oh my goodness! Hello. Look, <laughs> how amazing you look! Oh my, look at these lashes. Three pairs. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. I can't even handle myself right I, now. I am, uh. We just need a wig. <laughs> we do. We need a wig. Shall I go somewhere like this? Yes, you have to. Yes, you have to. <laughs> With all this work? I just wish, yes. I wish that he had some kind of wig and a costume to kind of, to go with this. It looks so fabulous and it's kind of underplayed because there's nothing, we got a tank top on. I'm googling Party City <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> this look took a lot of time and patience and you definitely want to stay very, very uh, steady when it comes to doing all the lines and the dots. <laughs> But Am I the gayest thing on the planet this right is now? Amazing. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is at Lana Reese. And you can also follow David on his Instagram and Twitter. At Bromco. Yeah. And we will see you guys soon. Big kiss. More Bye. drag to gum. <laughs>